What is up guys, it is KJ back, and I'm here to do another tutorial in After Effects. This is going to be a sick tutorial. Um, I had one or two people ask me how I did these, and uh, these are going to be my screen pumps, how I do my screen pumps and all of my edits. So yeah, they're a little bit different from um, how I did the black flashes. I may redo that tutorial because that was awful. That is uh, not how I do black flashes anymore for sure. But anyway, this is the screen pump tutorial, and I'm going to let you guys see what I've got set up for our screen pumps. If you could see me now, would you be pleased in that? So yeah, that is what we're going to be working with. It's an old leftover of mine before I stopped playing. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty bad, but who cares? We're going to edit to it. So we're going to make this look pretty sick with some screen pumps. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do mine and uh, everything like that. So what we're going to do is you're going to listen to the song and you're going to find your asterisk key and you want to listen all the way through it and you want to hit the asterisk key every time you hear a beat that that's going to be when you want the, like the screen pump to happen so I'm going to go through and do that real quick and uh, first though you want to make a new layer um, just an adjustment layer and make it like a weird color so we'll do yellow that way so you know this is your screen pump layer and uh, yes yeah, so I'm going to listen to this real quick guys if you could see me now, would you be pleased in that I'm doing So yeah, that looks good. It looks like we got uh, quite a few here. And if you mess up, don't worry. Just delete. You can delete all markers and start over again. So yeah. So what we're going to do is now what we're going to do is make a new layer. Adjustment layer. And put this one under this one. And this this layer is only for your keyframes. That's uh, no big deal. Just forget about it. Now we're going to go and you're going to find transform. Just like that. Slap that on the purple layer. And we want to hit right here. We want it to be right where. There we go. And uh, so yeah, right here is where we want our screen pump to happen. So now what you're going to do is you're going to keyframe scale and you're going to hit U. Alright, so on the shot we want it to build up a little bit. So we get right here and it starts to build up. It's at 100. Then right here we want it to be about, let's see, 1, 2, looks good. And the right when it hits, whenever it hits the shot, you want to bump it up to around, I recommend 105 to 110 maximum for all your um, screen pumps. But if you need to go higher, don't worry, just go higher. Just make sure it looks good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put 100 right here. Goes back to normal size. And then go back to, we'll, we'll do 105. So what you're going to do is for the, like, the smaller like hi-hat hits or beats, whatever you want to call it, you want to just go like a lower scale and for like the big beats the the ones you want to emphasize the most you want to go all the way up to maybe even 110 so yeah and what you can do is you can copy the 100 layer the 100 keyframe my bad I'm a little bit rusty on the commentaries but then you just want to paste it wherever you want it and boost it up and just keep going like that and right here we want to go really big because it is a transition into the kill cam. So right where the kill cam is, you want to boost it up. We'll do 110. And we'll paste the 100. And we'll do 103. And keep going like that. And it doesn't take that long. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to add a lot of character to your edits. So yeah, we're going to review preview these real quick to see how this looks and I'll show you guys how I make adjustments. If you could see me now, would you be pleased? Looks pretty sick so far. And now what you can do is it depends on how your song is. If you have like a really upbeat song, you want to have bigger and faster screen pumps. And to make the screen pumps faster, you just drag the 100 keyframe closer and it'll go a lot faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these a little bit closer. I want it to go a little bit faster. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to bump up some of the keyframes. So I'll make this one one nine. And we're going to bump this one up to one fifteen. And it's just, you, you're going to have to do this quite a few times before you understand what you're doing and really get a hang of it. But yeah, so I'm going to finish out doing the rest of these keyframes. So we'll do 100 and 5. And the ones you want to do, the you want to have the biggest is the shot and the transition between clips. So we'll do... 13 on the shot. And it's really just messing around and seeing what you can come up with and what turns out the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and let me finish these real quick. I'm doing this really fast. If you're doing it for an episode, definitely take your time, but I'm just trying to get this done for you guys. So yeah, it looks like that's going to be it. So we'll preview this one last time and uh, we'll see how it looks. If you could see me now, would you be pleased and proud? I'm doing it looks pretty dope guys. I think this keyframe is a little bit too much. So what you can do is um either bring the 100 really close or just lessen how much it is. So we'll watch this real quick. It looks pretty good, but we definitely need to get a lot lower. So we'll lower that to 110. That'll do. So yeah, last time guys, I'll let you watch this through. If you could see me now, would you be pleased and proud? So yeah, it looks pretty sick. It's definitely not the best, but I was trying to hurry. So I'll show you the last thing I do to add just a really good effect to your screen pumps is you want to, like say this was the whole episode I edited right here, all you want to do is you just pre-compose it, do like that, you have your screen pumps here, you add a little bit of wiggle, and hopefully you have presets, if you don't, download my 800 subs preset pack, and you want to just drop some wiggle on the pre-comp and scale it up we'll just scale it up a little bit now if we watch all the way through it looks really good with the wiggle so yeah if you could see me now would you be pleased and proud I'm it's that final touch to it so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that leave a like and comment for more of these and tell me what you guys want to see what tutorials you guys need and uh, yeah, so peace.